Hello guys, welcome back. So in the previous video lecture, we have created this Jarvis object deduction Flutter project, and this is our mandar.dot file. Uh, so in this video lecture, we are going to first of all add a splash screen to our this app. So for that, I will provide these three images. One is back dot jpg camera and Jarvis. Okay, you can simply download this. Once you download these three images, you have to just copy this. and then go back to your project and now right click on your project name okay which is jarvis object deduction app just right click on it and then click on new and here click on directory and now let's give it name as assets a double s e t s here you can see assets folder has been created now right click on this assets and then click on paste click on refractor and now here you can see all the three images has been added to our assets directory if i show you this one is back.jpg which is this image then we have camera.jpg and then jarvis.jpg here you can see it so yeah that's it now come here to the pubspec.yml file and we have to add the assets inside the pubspec.yml so only then we will be able to access these images so what we need to do is we have to simply type here assets a double s e t s and then in next line below this second s of this assets here you can see our folder is by the name assets so we have to write the exact uh, directory name or you can say the folder name which is assets okay slash so whatever inside this assets folder is it is now included in our project okay so you have to simply click on pub get to see if it is added successfully or not so we got an error here because we forgot if the exact code is one it simply means you have an error and the error is because we have to write here dash just like this and space okay make sure to follow the exact same steps below the asset second as we have this dash and space assets slash which is our folder name so anyways now let's click on pub get exit code 0 which means it has been added successfully to our project and if you see this as a suggestion then you can simply click on get dependencies so yeah that's it now let's just quickly create our new page which is my splash screen so right click on lib new and dot file and let's give it name as my splash page and then we can say import material dot dot and then we can create a statful widget and let's give it name as my splash page and on the main dot dot you can remove the comment from the home and instead of my home page we can simply say my splash page just like this and come back to the my splash page and in order to use the splash screen we have to add a dependency so simply go to this website which is pub.dev here you can see it and you can simply search for splash screen okay just search for this and you will see this one splash screen just click on it click on installing and copy this dependency come back to the project and pubspec.yml and now here below this cupertino icons we can simply paste it okay below this c you can see this s so splash screen so anyways now click on pub get simply so it has been added successfully so you can say a return splash screen this first one okay which belongs to this splash screen library so just import this here you can see automatically imported and now here we can say for how much second we want to display our splash screen so you have to simply write here so for example i'm going i want to display my splash screen for 12 seconds so i will simply type 12 and then 
where I want to go after the splash screen. So you can simply write here navigate after seconds. But since you know we have not yet created that page, so we will simply comment out this for now. And then the next thing is let's add a image background to our display screen. So we can say image background image dot asset and we have an image inside the assets folder. So we have to provide this file. So we can say assets slash and the image is by the name back.jpg. So we can simply type slash back.jpg and this one image okay and yeah that's it and then we can say dot image and then we have the loader color that is the round progress bar so which color you want to give to it we want to give it the color pink and if you do not want to display the loading color then we have a uh, option which is by the name i mean this use loader if you make it false it will not display the login bar. I hope you know about the progress bar, which is a round circular bar, which is just display that is it is loading for 12 seconds. Okay. So if you want to use it, you have to make it true. Otherwise, if you do not want to use the loading bar, you can simply make this false. And if you want to display a loading text, then you can simply write here loading text, text, and any text you want to display for example I'm going to display loading and if let's apply some styling on it so style text style and the color for this will be colors dot white so this is all about our splash screen so let's test the app to see how it looks So here you can see this is our splash screen here you can see this is the progress bar or you can say the loading bar and this is the text which is loading.